Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video we have to find the Laplace transform of the cosine of 4t times the cosine of 7t solution. So this problem relies on knowing a trig identity. So if you have the cosine of a times the cosine of b, that's equal to 1 half, and I'll use a bracket, and then it's cosine of a plus b plus cosine of a minus b. So in this problem, our a is equal to 4t, and our b is equal to 7t. So we have the cosine of 4t times the cosine of 7t. That's equal to 1 half. We have our bracket. Then it's cosine of a plus b, so cosine of so we're adding these, right? 4t plus 7t is simply 11t plus, and then here we subtract 4t minus 7t, so 4 minus 7 is negative 3t. So again, first we did cosine of a plus b, so 4t plus 7t is 11t, looks okay. 4t minus 7t is negative 3t, looks okay. Cosine is an even function, so the negative sign inside the cosine will go away. So we can distribute the 1 half, so we have 1 half cosine of 11t plus 1 half cosine of 3t. Alright, so we've taken our original problem and we've rewritten it in a very nice way. Now all we have to do is take the Laplace transform of this. So recall the Laplace transform is linear, so we can just take the Laplace transform of each piece. So it'll be 1 half Laplace of the cosine of 11t plus 1 half Laplace of the cosine of 3t. Cosine has the s. That's how I memorized the formula. So if you have the Laplace of cosine kt this is equal to s over s squared plus k squared. So cosine has the s, so it's 1 half s over s squared plus, and then 11 squared is 121, plus 1 half, and then again cosine has the s, so the s goes up top, so s squared plus 3 squared, so 9. And that would be the final answer. Remember the Laplace transform of sine kt is the same, except up here it has a k. So easy trick to memorize it is cosine has the s. I hope this video has been helpful.